from sunburn and swimmer's ear to poison ivy and bug bites. It's all part of summer and spending time outside. Here to talk treatment is CVS Minute Clinic nurse practitioner Crystal Redout. Good morning and welcome to Houston's Morning, morning. Show. You're here to save the day. Yes, ma'am. It's so nice to get, especially the kiddos, out and about, but there are a lot of things that come with that. And you brought in some ideas of how we can treat them. I first of all want to ask you about ticks because especially if you're outdoors, if you're in the woods when you're traveling, then you can find them on your skin. When I was little, we always warmed up a needle and put it on there, but you say, yeah, that's not necessary. You don't have to heat up a tick. Yes. No, ma'am. So if you have a tick bite, if it's stuck on your skin, mm -hmm. you want to grasp the tick by its head as close to your skin as possible with some fine tip tweezers. Okay, so you just get the old tweezers out. Tweezers. You want to get mm -hmm. it as close to your skin as possible. You want to pull straight up. Do not twist or turn. This can break some of the mouth pieces mm -hmm. and it, these can get stuck in your skin. Okay, and so you don't want to grab it in the middle. Again, it's mm -hmm. going to be at the very top. At the very top. Okay. If the mouth piece, pieces do get caught in your skin, you can try to remove them with a tick. Uh -huh. if, it, if you cannot remove them, you can just leave them. They'll expel on their own. Okay, but you want to put some alcohol or something like that? Yes. So things such as petroleum jelly, nail polish, nail polish, heat are not effective. You'll just gently clean the area with some rubbing alcohol, mm -hmm. some soap and water and most tick bites are not harmful. Okay, a lot of people are going to enjoy beaches right now. So what about jellyfish? Because sometimes you hear of someone r trying to race around and find a cigarette or something to put tobacco all on there. What do you suggest you do to a jellyfish stink? Well, with a common variety you see in the coast, mm -hmm. all you need to do is flush the area with some salt water, some common home remedies such as urine is not effective, mm -hmm. either as a meat tenderizer. All you need to do is use some antibiotic ointment and cover the area with a light dressing such as some non-stick pads or some rolled gauze. Okay, what about poison ivy? Because there is nothing more miserable and then all the other things like that. You got poison oak, sumac, and the, the list goes on and on. Yes, so with poison ivy, you wanna clean the area as soon as possible, mm -hmm. preferably within the first 10 minutes. Poison ivy contains an oil that called urushiol that can cause intense itching and burning within that first 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. You can all, for treatment, you can use oatmeal baths or cool compresses. You can do calamine lotion mm -hmm. or Burroughs solution to treat the poison ivy. The rash starts within four hours to four days and it can last up to a couple of weeks. With poison ivy, you make, wanna make sure that you remove your clothing carefully because the the urushiol can actually penetrate the clothing. Okay, so you wanna get it off as yes, quickly as possible yes. and be careful with that. Yes. Okay, let's talk about um, what to do with our kiddos' ears in the summertime because they're probably swimming a lot more than usual and here come the earaches. And of course, it always seems like they hit at midnight when you're trying to sleep. How can you prevent that in the first place? So after the kiddos are swimming, you need to make sure their ears are dry. You can do this with a towel. You could tilt their ears side to side, make sure they're dry. There's over-the-counter based solutions to help with the drying and to prevent bacterial growth, such as things such as swimmer's ear. Mm -hmm. If you do not have that, you can use half rubbing alcohol, half white vinegar, use a medicine dropper, put a few drops in the ear, tilt your ear side to side, mm -hmm. and that okay. should be fine. And that's every time you swim. It can't just be one or two times, right? It should it's be every time you time. swim. Just kind of yes. make that part of your habit when you're, yes, when you're getting that towel and drying off, add the ears to the routine. Yes. Okay, in, the, in a perfect world, we're putting on our nice high SPF sunscreen and not getting sunburned, but we know that that doesn't always happen. No. So how do you treat a painful sunburn? What's the best way to deal with that? The best way is to put cool calm compresses, aloe vera afterwards. Mm -hmm. You want to take some over-the-counter pain relief such as ibuprofen or Tylenol. You want to drink plenty of water. Um, staying hydrated is key. If you do notice a severe burn such as increased sweating, mm -hmm. dizziness, or you just do not feel well, definitely see your healthcare provider immediately. Now, sometimes you see some blisters, leave them alone, do not pop them. Those are actually barriers to prevent infection. Always wear an SPF of at least, a broad spectrum SPF of at least 30 or above. Mm -hmm. Apply it every two hours. More often, if you're swimming or if you're sweating, always use a wide brim hat and make sure you use your eye protection. Yeah. All right, so you just gotta have your whole little list out there to, to try to protect yourself and hopefully you don't have to deal with all these, but now yes. we have tools in our toolbox if, yes. if it happens. Crystal, thanks for coming in. From Thank CBS you so Minute much. Clinic. And happy summer. You hopefully everyone will have a, a drama-free one after listening to you. Yes, all right. Thank you.